Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host, Sri Ayer. Joining me today is Professor R. Vaidyanathan. Um, we're going to talk about this north and south divide that the south likes to play up. What is the reality? Is, is north really benefiting from the largest of the south? Just because the South seems to have a slightly higher GDP, how did that come about? A lot of questions. Professor R. V. being a finance expert, has all the answers. So let's welcome Professor R. Vaidyanathan. Professor R. V. Namaskaram and welcome to P. Guru's channel, sir. Namaskaram, Vanakkam, Namaste to the P. Guru's channel. I'm always delighted. I all mentioned that addressing the P. Guru's audience because they are very uh, perceptive as well as uh, provide some very interesting comments that is the most important thing and i thank ayer uh, for providing this opportunity in this uh, great channel and uh, of course our sachin who is a technical director come you know programmer come analyst come so many things and uh, he is the one who is coordinating i thank him also sincerely for this sending the link and other thing today we will uh, have a look at this uh, whole issue of this uh, so called south north divide that has occupied the interesting space and according to my own reading before uh, 2024 parliament election this will gain much much more ground because increasingly congress is uh, finding that uh, it may not get adequate number of uh, seats in uh, in the heartland as well as in western part of the country Eastern part of the country already Mamata has rejected the alliance. So they have to focus on the south. Yes. Sir, please continue. I have someone at the door. I need to take care of that. I'll be right back. Please continue, sir. Sure, I'll sure. No, no problem. Take your time. And so they would uh, try to focus on the south, which means some amount of uh, fireworks have to start on this front. Very recently, the major leader in Karnataka, who is the brother of the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka. Deputy Chief Minister is D.K. Shokumar, his brother Suresh is the one who made the observation about the South being denied and and of course he made a very, if, if this continues type of thing, then we might have to ask for a separate country. That is something very interesting. This has been the position of uh, Dravidian uh, brothers in Tamil Nadu from 1920, forget about recently or anything, nearly 100 years, the same uh, uh, what one can call uh, plate is being uh, played. And uh, recently also they had a conference in which it was uh, Salem, the youth conference, which was presided over by the junior Stalin. And uh, they made the similar observation about. Uh, Tamil Nadu being denied a lot of uh, benefits and uh, usually, you know, for every one rupee we give, we get only 5 paise or 10 paise or something. And uh, Stalin also told about the uh, fascist, uh, the federal government. I think uh, in uh, India as well as in Tamil Nadu, the word fascism is used indiscriminately. I think people do not know the history nor geography. If really it is a fascist situation, then Stalin, uh, Junior Stalin couldn't have you know, uh, made that statement at all. He would be inside the jail if it were uh, really a uh, Mussolini or Hitler type of situation. Or he couldn't have held his uh, major conference. So the word fascism, I think, is being bandied in a very loose manner. Anyhow, let that pass. The most important thing is the complaint that uh, we are not uh, uh, getting anything and uh, we have been uh, contributing significantly in the, and as I told the people do not know the history nor geography and we will come to that actually and these people are, if you look at the global situation, Germany or US or something, you will find almost all the industries came in the post uh, second world war, 50s and 60s along the coal iron ore belt wherever these uh, uh, basic raw material was available uh, you know on that industries were built actually whether it is uh, automobile or whether it is uh, iron and steel factories or various other type of activity and uh, in us uh, you know if you go from this side 
न्यूयॉर्क ओहायो पेंसिल्वेनिया इलिनॉय देन इंडियाना मिशिगन यू नो दैट होल बेल्ट इज एंड दिस व्हाट आर कॉल्ड द हाईवेज व्हाट वी कॉल दैट हाईवे दे कॉल फ्रीवेज पर बिल्ट अलोंग दिस बेल्ट एंड both uh, from the point of view of uh, uh, what one can call shipping routes as well as the uh, river routes and other thing were flourishing actually so the industries were predominantly located in places where there is coal iron ore and uh, such other mate raw material that is the thing and later on it became rust belt actually because many of these industries uh, the context of 90s and 80s 90s and they shifted outside because of globalization the tires were made in barcelona <clears throat> the sound system was made in tokyo then uh, the gearbox was made in budapest and the thing was assembled in thailand and sold in malaysia this is what is called the product market globalization so many of these uh, uh, big companies uh, started to outsource their activity in most of the other countries due to cost effectiveness as well as due to the issue of uh, being global and of course their profits were all shown in the tax haven that's a separate story the point i want to say is <laughs> this uh, whole thing became a rust belt that was uh, in the later part of the 90s or i would say beginning of the 20s there but till that time from the 50s if you look at all the businesses and industries flourished along this line we will come to india the major states which produces coal steel and other thing is bihar west bengal and uh, jharkhand and chatisgarh you know before the split of those states and other thing and some portion of the northern telangana those days uh, it was andhra pradesh these are the areas which are major if you look at the other parts of south including tamil nadu it's a bereft of any of these uh, um, you know raw material or any of these uh, fundamental to produce actually this uh, tamil nadu has got this uh, coal you know this uh, uh, what they call in uh, navelli that is the only that's not a very sir, major significant sir, that coal enough. is not very that coal is not very efficient isn't it navelli yeah, yeah, like coal not, has got a lot of ash sir. ash content is relatively very large another thing we will uh, but if you walk along this belt jaria and uh, you know various places in uh, uh, bihar as well as in uh, west bengal you will find absolutely no major industries there it's all you know very very uh, sad state affair coal is produced and coal is lifted and uh, taken to other parts of the country same thing about iron ore same thing about all other material what has happened is during the second five year plan first five year plan was a set of uh, just uh, you know documents second was the major five year plan which was uh, done by maharnobis who was one of my teacher also who was the founder of indian statistical institute lot of russian experts of come uh, polish experts of come and uh, in that time it was decided that freight equalization will be one of the major policy decisions of the industrialization what does that mean in simple language is the coal at pit head in uh, say bihar one of the coal mines will be the same price as in chennai or bangalore can you beat that the 1 kg of coal whatever is the price there will be the same price here this is the freight equalization this is supposed to help the southern states which were not having any of these uh, uh, what one can call minerals and other thing and of course much later some geo strategic uh, thing was given it is far away from uh, pakistan and that most important is large number of industries were located in other parts of the country not in the coal and iron belt of the country this is something very very important to remember this uh, freight equalization and this has phenomenally cost those areas which produces this actually and which phenomenally benefited the areas which for instance automobile factory should normally have come in uh, bihar major automobile factories should have come because of the availability of iron ore and as well as uh, coal 
but automobile factories are set up in chennai as well as or chennai or tamil nadu as well as in uh, western part of the uh, bombay in those days similarly so many other examples can be given cement only one uh, major limestone is available but not other uh, materials so deliberate policy was taken in order to encourage these uh, places uh, which were not having these and also in that process south enormously benefited not only that that time we had a far you know sighted leaders like subramaniam alagesan kamaraj and other c subramaniam vengatraman they set up immediately industrial trainings institutes in uh, tamil nadu more than 300 400 same thing in karnataka all these iti they industrial training iti not iit iti's they were primarily producing welder fitter carpenter blow molder and various type of arts and crafts and they were all absorbed into these industries which were coming all your bhl bml bel hmt you know all type of bees were setting up so very interesting type of thing is all the major leaders prime minister on, uh, of the country came from up you have jawarlal nehru lal bahadur shastri indira gandhi rajiv all of them but none of them gave any major importance to up they should have set up much more there this you know very large hearted leaders there was a leader called ram manohar logia many might not have heard about him he was the uh, you know bishma pitamaha of the socialism actually he was the you know mentor of all this uh, lalu yadav and uh, your uh, nitish kumar and all these people anyhow he was also in the parliament alahabad based the news uh, paper wala in those days tv was not there newspaper wala swar asking him once about this all these industries are going to south and we are not uh, having anything what is this sir he smiled and told are bhai what is this if our southern uh, uh, you know boys are getting it india is benefited he openly told that why are you complaining you tell me one leader today in any part of the country more so in south would does uh, talk like this even between two states a tamil nadu leader will not say what does it matter if it goes to uh, you know karnataka after all it is uh, benefiting the country he told that and he got away with it the people smiled and after that uh, this issue was not taken up my professor ashok mitra yeah sir one question sir before we continue because i want to set the context for our viewers i have read and i could be wrong about this sir that the education system in the southern states was better travancore had a very good education system so did the kingdom of mysore even the madras province that uh, was there around all these things was the madras province they said that the public education system was very good there is it possible that up and bihar did not quite have the same kind of quality of education sir no 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 this education system was uh, you know strengthened as there is all this after all this industry it's like telling many people because of technically competent people in iti and other thing the it is not the it's other way so many type of industries were set up here then automatically all this paraphernalia developed health system education system and other thing let's be very clear about it it's a reverse it's not the education system was not there in a vacuum actually much of the education system Uh, both in technical and non technical developed because of the setting up of large number of these uh, business uh, uh, sorry industries okay my professor ashok mitra who is also you know finance minister of west bengal very fine person he used to uh, write extensively about this uh, damage done to west bengal and bihar and other parts of the uh, coal and uh, iron belt due to freight equalization So, so now they are very good. Uh, I am talking about the 70s, late 70s. That time itself, we told nearly two times the GDP has been uh, given away in the process and other. But uh, the uh, Politburo of the party somehow was not very enthusiastic in taking it up. Many of the senior leaders uh, like Das Gupta and uh, Jodi Basu and other thing told, you know, played down, you know. 
they had a idea of uh, we are a national party we should try to create this uh, fisiferous uh, type of tendencies and other things. and he, even though he has done extensive work why i am telling is uh, he came to uh, you know unveil the statue of subramanian bharati in southern uh, calcutta i was there at that time and uh, as a professor i know him also he knows me so i went there he is a very they opened a statue of subramanian bharati in a public park in south calcutta believe me it's a vivekananda park it's called even there even today the statue is there opened appreciating the bharati's contribution and other thing he is a very uh, you know i would say very interesting and nice person some of us went and told him sir the wife of uh, this uh, mathematician ramanujam is not having adequate amount of support and other thing believe me within a week he got permission from jodi basu and west bengal government when he was finance minister ordered pension payment to mrs uh, ramanujam she does a, they don't have any connection with uh, west bengal or anything he just told pension can be provided to her that's all nice person so i asked him what happened to this straight equalization after the such opening he told vaidyanathan now they told me to you know play it down and he once told that uh, uh, you know ami uh, communist ami gentleman noy i am not a badarlo ami badarlo noy i am not a badarlo i am not a gentleman i am a communist so he he told the press reporters and it became a very major uh, controversy for some more time anyhow he went along with the party line i don't think any communist leader in tamil nadu has read or heard about this even for for instance a simple thing like gst was the brain child of jodi babu may not be known to them even they you know because it is more or less combined with the dmk nowadays so that is the start set of that the point i want to make is he was one who has done extensive work in this area how freight equalization has damaged the coal and uh, you know the iron ore producing type of uh, trades and other things so if you look at it in a very comprehensive fashion the north has enormously contributed to the growth of south let's be very clear about it even though anna used to you know anadure wrote or used to talk about in the 60s about uh, vadakku valargirudhu therkku theigirudhu this uh, rhyming and all this you know thing is very very popular among these people it was a 100% lie it's a buruda it's a dubakur whatever you call it but it carried itself because it was repeated again and again it was the other way actually therkku valargirudhu vadakku theigirudhu you tell me what are the big industries which have come in up or bihar during the entire period a flight in the last couple of years after you know adityanath has taken over he is taking some steps to uh, get some um, you know units in uh, up and other the point is in spite of the fact it is a river the media is so powerful in this uh, tamil nadu they had this uh, dravidian propaganda for instant on uh, dinathandi daily uh, telegraph they used to have a cartoon Uh, whenever they publish about the tamil mean it will be a small young girl you know little with a wings and other thing and hindi will be a huge one with a hammer in hand and a big like rakshasi and that is the one which is attacking this common cartoon used to mislead the people so much not only that they completely banned hindi in terms of being offered in the schools and other thing and so what has happened over a period of time the tamil nadu had more links with uh, us and uk than with the northern part of the country this separatism is totally uh, ingrained into the so they will talk about world le- world leader means what tamil nadu plus some uh, you know small counties in us or something that is the world leader for them and uh, world uh, you know the best uh, actor in the world the best uh, this uh, that can uh, so they i i used to wonder many people have seen uh, you know eiffel tower many people have seen this grand canyon they have not i am sure seen anything much in rajasthan or madhya pradesh or anything you go to those places i would say the most cosmopolitan people in this country let me tell you with authority are biharis 
you know the number of mps who are not biharis who came from bihar jar fernandez madhuli mai the list is very large they never bother and they don't have they actually have appreciation of people from south they never have this feeling that you know like uh, ramanor logia told they are our brothers what is wrong you know if south grows india grows that attitude they are least chauvinistic if you ask me they may be casteist that's a different issue they are least chauvinistic in terms of region you tell me is it possible for somebody up north to come and uh, you know win elections from some of these places no this is the you know we are in a very deep pit actually we have uh, and uh, this is something which is going on for and this has become much uh, bigger issue today because of the political thing i can assure the congress will make it into a large issue the south north divide my estimate similar to that of ashok mitra i'm not getting into the technicality and other thing four times the gdp gdp is 250 lakh crores that mean 1000 lakh crore approximately has to be given by the southern states to these uh, northern pair 1000 lakh crore has to be compensated before we talk about any rubbish or we get 100 rupee and they get no we have to pay them so much amount of money we owe our gratitude to them we have to be very thankful to them actually instead of calling them this pani puri wala and nobody there calls uh, this uh, people from south as idli dosa wala nothing like that no attitudinal uh, issue at all but here and after doing all this thing after having iti and after developing our infrastructure and education we are telling that they are not having adequate amount of education as we are having that's not the for instance israel is taking something like 10000 people i am telling you from up and haryana and rajasthan and other places they are coming and recruiting because many of the palestinians are not uh, you know into the job in the uh, israel so this is what is happening so this is and similarly highly qualified people technically committed people they all go to middle east dubai and various other places from kerala tamil nadu and other places so the point is we have to look at it as a unified whole india whatever is happening and a lot of bogus uh, you know i shouldn't say that uh, bullshitting type of word statistics is given somebody says the direct tax collection in maharashtra is the highest direct tax include the taxes from companies large number of companies are registered in india in Mar- bombay so obviously all the taxes collected by them will be reflected in uh, maharashtra and not that all of them is due to people who are uh, residing in maharashtra large number of people could be in outside and so the balance sheet of the company profit and loss account when they make they have to show it in their position so lot of this you know semi literate uh, nitwits have started and unfortunately the social media has made everybody an expert all the people are economic expert one fellow says that the difference between gdp is uh, actually national income what do i say i cannot uh, just you know laugh or smile or something because if i say something immediately he will abuse my caste abuse my uh, religion abuse my language and so one is fed up about this let me tell very clearly south owes enormously to the northern part of the country for facilitating the growth of south the southern growth is due to the sacrifices of the north so we require to have our uh, pranams to the people of the north for providing us so much amount of opportunities providing us so much amount of benefits let's not try to you know be smart and other thing it's not and they are not uh, you know uh, claiming any big credit about it actually they are you know because most of their leaders are much much broader perspective and here it is because of the britisher british created this north south thing let me be very very clear just like in the north they created hindu muslim the other way they are created this north south thing and uh, that continues that tradition continues from 1920s and uh, and this uh, north mean they are 
பானிபூரி வாட் பானிபூரி வாலா ஹவு மெனி ஐஏஎஸ் ஆஃபீஸர்ஸ் ஆர் ஃப்ரம் பீகார் இஸ் நாட் நோன் டு தீஸ் பீப்பிள் இன்க்ளூடிங் இன் தமிழ்நாடு தமிழ்நாடு இட் செல்ஃப் தேர் ஆர் மெனி ஐஏஎஸ் ஆஃபீஸர்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் பீகார் ஸோ திஸ் ஹோல் திங் ஆஃப் யூ நோ டாக்கிங் இல் ஆஃப் அனதர் குரூப் அனதர் கம்யூனிட்டி அண்ட் அதர் திங் இட் இஸ் ஹைலி அப்ஜெக்ஷனபிள் சவுத் ஓஸ் சப்ஸ்டான்ஷியல் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் கிராட்டிடியூட் டு த பீப்புள் இன் this uh, coal and iron and other belt let me be very very clear about it even today there is not much of uh, industries and other thing there one of the reason is they sacrificed they did tyaga in order to help the south and in the process south is uh, you know attractively uh, the lot of iit iits lot of these engineering colleges the enormous amount of education system and other thing has come health system also when industries come health system has to develop that's uh, nothing wrong about it but uh, let us look at it as a country as a whole what type of uh, benefits are coming or not coming and other thing so this way i think uh, the debate is going to be ugly and the debate is going to be uh, full of lies and uh, full of uh, what one can call uh, you know hyperbole and other thing between today and 24 let us be alert about thank you very much thank you ayer thank you sir um, a couple of things viewers uh, you have been giving me feedback about the vibhuti uh, professor rv i have been trying to standardize vibhuti so that every time you put vibhuti on it looks consistent and uh, <laughs> i i've been trying to and also my goal was uh, viewers my goal was that you put it in the morning it will be there for 3 to 4 hours it is not something that should be going away and and i've been doing a few experiments in that process i've learned a few things and i'm trying to incorporate that and i'll come back to you on that i'll also have the full fledged uh, three finger i don't know tripu tripu something tripu tripun tripun i'm going to do that also i'm going to be experimenting on that but yes uh, you were vibhuti what you get in california i don't know that vibhuti that is actually full of this uh, you know this uh, one called balapam you know this all this and then uh, some amount of uh, okay sawdust and other thing the otherwise you won't get this uh, white color yeah sir this is this is from parani sir i got it yeah, from yeah, parani parani but uh, the actual uh, when you take ashes from the yagyasala it, it won't is be gray white yeah. yes white yes one. i i agree oh, sir i agree yeah. that's uh, not a very major issue okay we will uh, so you are trying to put the three lines right tripun tripun it's coming sir it is coming i'm going to do that also sir the thing about this is i'm trying to do it in a scientific way i want to make sure that consistently it comes in a certain pattern and i'm trying a few things here and there and viewers another thing you some of you said that it looks like a bandaid well um, you look at your finger your finger is rounded your finger is rounded so when you put that and against uh, put on your hair, forehead it is going to look rounded so what happens is we'll put it and then one side will be square one side will be round so we'll go and adjust it for a little bit this is usual okay but i am trying to make it such that you just apply it once and if a family member applies it it's even more accurate so i'm doing a few things i'm going now i'm not willing to share all the things at this point because it is still working for me when kannan ramaswami said he used coconut oil or uh, ghee yes muri or kumbum stay still evening for him it's a interesting point he is making mm. okay very true very true very true sir say so much feedback coming also some of you said that it is too thick actually i have to tell you one thing this is just the way i have set up my camera Uh, my camera is 20% bigger of everything is bigger by 20% there's a zoom of so i'm not i'm not as big as being shown in the camera i don't have much to i can't do much with that it is just the way the room is so i'm 20% larger than what i am so even the vibhuti is 20% bigger my forehead is 20% bigger so fact if you see me in real life it is just right i mean we measured our fingers four or five different sizes we looked at small medium large for children for adults for really you know a little bit you know uh, husky adults and all that stuff so we have all these things planned out the thing i uh, the idea is to give something that anybody gets used to it you can immediately start using it 
most important thing here is it is high time we be proud of our citizen our our culture we be proud of our heritage we for far too long we have been trying to blend in when we don't know that our skin color betrays where we are from or our language the way we speak whichever language betrays where <laughs> we are from so what is the point in trying to do all that be truthful sure. that's all i can say <laughs> um sir um, one other one other request sir uh, we'll be going to questions in just one moment uh, we have a lot of questions as a matter of fact one other request viewers uh, only about half of you like this video and i can tell you from looking at the way we have been conducting program see how you get notified it is not happening all at once for example professor rv's program we announced one hour ahead of time that professor rv will be talking about x y and z now even though that gets registered in youtube immediately it doesn't get notified it doesn't start notifying you um, immediately it i think it is doing it in batches mainly because probably the load there is on the server so 10000 get in one point and then another 10000 30 minutes later another to get the traffic to go up because more and more people are not getting notified our likes have to stay in uh sync with the number of viewers so like for example now we are at 500 uh, and the likes i just checked were oh, 190 we need the likes to catch up with the viewers so some of you will say very logical point how can a like without knowing how the program is hey, come on now this is the professor of i uh, <laughs> i am is a isi graduate and uh, you know he comes with a lot of gravitas he has written books and he has taken time he prepares for all these things surely you should be able to give some leap of faith here to say yes professor rv's programs are good how many of you are students of professor rv is this now is this now you support your guru how many times have i seen comment i studied under professor rv sir one question for you isn't ravi yogiraj also your student the man who did the murti of ram lalla i think so Yeah, I, I remember. There is another Yogi Raj. Yeah. There are two Yogi Raj. So let's not say confuse between the two. I see. I All see, are Yogi Raj, of course, surname wise, right? <laughs> okay. You viewers, you'll be surprised to know how many captains of the industry today were actually taking courses under Professor R V. He, <laughs> he is a very unassuming man. I'm telling you, he's full of knowledge. And and he, what do you want? Uh, no, I wanted to quickly check one small thing. Your Sengol is going well. It's sir oh thank you for reminding me guys sengol update i'm so sorry i should have said this thing to you were to sell ago. it in england also yes it is now being sold in england uh, and uh, you can buy it from the website and we will we are we are going to be able to ship your orders uh, in the us we did two uh, back uh, two times we ordered and we are sold out uh, i have no nothing left but we are accepting new orders because we are now working on trying to bring the cost of this down so that we can make it affordable for india we are planning the introduction of this product in india and and once that happens the resource, the complete fulfillment will be from india it doesn't matter where you are in the world we are going to figure that out so don't don't worry we are going to do that and uh, that way Very good. this proud thing sir it's a beautiful beautiful please sir it is a uh, resin material 3d material it is 3d printed but i can see the flag of india i can see the inscription captured from the original sengol the, there is a there is a nandi sitting on top even its horns are captured sir it's so beautifully done anyone who has received it has told me it has um, it has arrived without any blemishes no cracks nothing i've had very good success with it so thank you all for your support like like i said continue ordering the sengol if you have not already got one also many of you are asking about bulk orders do tell me uh, what is the number you're looking at it makes sense for us if it is in quantities of 100 and and then it becomes really really useful also i encourage all of you who have mounted it in your houses to take a picture of that and send it to us so that we can share it uh, on on our episodes like how people are mounting the sengol it's very easy it's very light even you can put two thumb tacks and put it in between and put thumb tacks it stays Um, so th th there are there are lots of things we can do with this so thank you Very for good. that right? sir the next thing is we have also we're also getting ready to introduce our next product which is ramlala sir ramlala mandir ram mandir yeah and uh, 
I, I just have to do a couple of changes here and then I'll be back with that. We are, uh, we are going to be doing that with lighting enabled. Amazing stuff that is coming down the pipeline again. Very, very cost effective. We are not getting any money. Um, our viewers, I have to tell you this. There is no margin here. In fact, I'm trying. I'm actually uh, trying not to suggest money. make it in sandalwood color, not in white color. Sir, every color is possible, sir. Every color oh, is okay. possible. Sir. That's what we are oh. trying to do. We are giving it to you. You want gold, you'll get gold. You want sandalwood, you get sandalwood. So that okay. is what is the idea. Why <laughs> democratize it? You you take whatever color oh, you want. Very so, good. Everything will be doing. That is coming down the pipeline. And, and also, um, so th these are all some of the things, like I said, and, and the Vibhuti project, I will be doing Tripun also very soon. And uh, just stay with us and, and keep supporting us. All feedback is welcome, by the way. We're also going to have variations where you can do Kumkum also. You can do Chandan. You can do many things. I mean, like I said, this is a small step. We need to get some of these dimensions right. Once we have that, then we can scale it and, and do it. It is, um, it's, it's something that, like I said, people should wear proud. I need that before I step out of the house. That is how, we actually, in, in, in South, right, the moment you shower, you come out, you stand in front of uh, Bhagwan. It could be any Bhagwan. And then the next thing you do is, you do this, and only then you step out. That's when everybody in the family knows this person has showered. He's ready for the day. There is, a, there is an implicit message yeah. in that. And then the child wakes up, sees dad fresh looking, very... You know, and immediately they are, oh, I better get up and go because I will be listening something. So, you know, all these things have been ingrained in us. Now we lost all of that. We are coming back to that. And, and this coming back needs to come even better because this is where we are teaching. We are leaving this legacy for our children. I'm sorry, this is your show, Professor Arvi, and I'm, I'm taking time to explain all this. One last thing. Your subscriber count is very, very important for us. So if you have not already done so, you can subscribe by clicking once and subscribing to all our channels. Can we show the thing, please? This is pgurus.com. If you go to pgurus.com and scroll down, you will get to this thing called auto-subscribe. And all four will be blank to start with. You choose which one you want to auto-subscribe. There are two English channels. There is a Tamil channel. There is a Hindi channel. Or you can subscribe to all. Don't worry if you don't know Hindi. Don't worry if you don't know Tamil. You subscribe. You would you get notifications only on the channels that you opt to have notifications. Otherwise, you will not get notifications. So my I encourage you select all and then go and click on the YouTube icon to the right of cancel. Once you click that one shot, you are auto subscribed to all our channels. That will help us boost our subscription across all channels that also helps us in the uh, uh, the uh, algorithmic engine of google google where they see a steady growth of customers uh, of, of subscribers that really helps us again no money involved here make it easy for yourself make it easy on ours and uh, you can just decide which ones to watch and which ones to not watch but you will be doing us a huge favor by doing all these little little things thank you once again viewers thanks in advance says uh, Professor Arbi, if with your permission, can we take some questions, sir? Sure, sure, no problem. Questions, please. And you can you can discuss with me and freeze my time so that uh, you know people know that this time of the week, something like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 We'll do that. So, uh, viewers, yes, Professor Arbi, reorganize right? post 2024. Is yes. the only one who can bring. I only hope so. I have been asking for. Uh, second state uh, reorganization commission to be formed actually yes uh, in the budget uh, it was mentioned that uh, they would uh, uh, bring out about demography and implication for uh, future of india equal to that i think uh, second src is required time has come now then professor rv professor rv in 2016 budget there was a one paragraph mention that the government of India will be using uh, blockchain to help uh, improve the processes. The reason I think was I had written a book about the gist of GST. And, and in there I had said how by putting it on blockchain, you can improve the processes and so on and so forth. Maybe 2017 budget, one of those two. So I'm, but it is actually being put in place. The digital rupee is today on blockchain. 
digital rupee is not something you and I will be using yours. It will be between state and center. What will happen is when everything is implemented, the, the center will give 5,000 crores to the states. And the 5,000 is already budgeted. You can only spend so much money on this. Now, the center can track and make sure that the money that allocated for fertilizers goes only for fertilizers because the fertilizer company will be also on the blockchain. The approved fertilizer companies have to be on the blockchain. Otherwise, you cannot give it to Altu Faltu. This is a way to make sure that your mom and your macha, your uh, brother-in-law, your son-in-law, your uh, daughter-in-law, all of them don't get uh, companies formed, shell companies where the money just goes, zoop, nowhere, it, it's all completely gone. All this, bull I shouldn't say the word, all that nonsense is going to go away. Things are happening quietly. This is the style of Amit Shah and Prime Minister Modi. Nothing comes out. Remember this, guys. A silent Modi, a silent Shah is a much more dangerous person than someone who's saying something. They do things. They don't just talk about it. So a lot of things are happening. I mean, I have I have been a very good criticism, critic, critique of this administration. Good things I appreciate. Not so good things. I point out how they can make things better. This is just pure love for Bharat Mata, nothing else. Let's go on to the next question, please. Meenakshi Dantu. Hi, sir. Namaste. Today, actor Vijay announced a new political party with this change TN politics outlook by 2026. Will they then... We have to wait. One is he has told clearly that 2024 he is not going to be involved. So, we have to wait and see the impact of what he will create. Will it uh, go away something like Kamala or something or will it uh, have a much larger impact or something? Rajini told he threatened he never came in. But uh, will they dent BJP vote share too early to uh, make a comment about it? We have to wait and see what is happening. One thing is it will to some extent dent the DMK vote share. As a ruling party, always you know, as a disadvantage, the opposition will try to uh, catch you. And then uh, that's a you know, tentative type of conclusion we can come to. We have to wait and see. Viewers, for those who don't know this, the Tamil industry market, the Kollywood, Kodambakam is the place where most of the shooting used to happen in old days. That's why it's called Kollywood, K-O-L-L-Y wood. This is under the vice-like grip of the DMK. They, they also have a vice-like grip over television channels as well as print media, as well as social media. Can you believe it if I tell you there are 40,000 YouTube channels in Tamil? And I can count on my with my on my fingers how many are center or right wing. P gurus, Kolahalas, Chanakya, uh, Ilaya Bharatam. Uh, there are a few more. That's it. Nothing else. A, a major Madan's channel and so on and so forth. That's it. Everybody else is Dandora dum 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 of DMK, where one guy will retweet the other guy, he'll forward this. There are people, there are anchors who don't know Adam from Eve who have 1 million subscribers, which is why I find it odd that when, you know, with, for the quality of content P Gurus provides, we are still kind of struggling to even cross 5 lakhs. Anyway, so you, you understand where yes. things are coming from. And I am not willing to lower the quality of programming so that I can get more subscribers. We don't cover Hollywood. We don't cover Bollywood. We don't cover Kollywood. We don't cover Tollywood. No woods. No woods. <laughs> no cricket. It's mostly, sometimes I use cricket more in a satirical form to poke fun. Today also I had advice for Siraj. Ba bad timing, sir. Siraj didn't even play the second test. So what can I say? <laughs> Next one. Okay. Magnet Ranga wants to know, Jay Sri Ram, the, the issue of North South has been raked up by Congress in different circumstances. Is it a strategy to really create a divide? I suspect DMK too would join. How to tackle this? It's not very easy to tackle because uh, particularly in the context of Tamil Nadu and to some extent Kerala also, the communist and uh, DMK are both uh, you know, declining powers, I call them, and uh, declining powers are dangerous. So it's going to be a very, very long drawn out uh, struggle in order to overcome this issue. Very unfortunate, uh, Congress is also jumping into this bandwagon in order to gain a uh, uh, few votes and other thing. Congress which has uh, such a level of tradition and uh, such a level of uh, past. 
communist i told you when ashok mitra brought up this issue they told no it's not required to uh, bring up this type of divisive type of thing but uh, today the situation is such that the dot alliance will uh, uh, go to any extent let's wait and see next question please partha wants to know what or where is the best place to learn sanskrit I stay in Mumbai and I am able to travel to learn, but I just don't know where to I go or how to find out. I think you can get one. into the net and find out. There are a lot of uh, yeah. places where you can learn Sanskrit. Some are the some of them are free actually. So yes. can you yes. get into the net and find out what type of classes you can attend? And uh, it is available uh, free on both, and as well as paid both. So yes. Kindly yes. keep that right. Okay. Maya Jagannathan wants to know, sir, Kharge says, Aap, Aapke Baar Charso for BJP in Parliament today, when all BJP members applauded, does it mean even Kharge and his party have given up hopes? No, 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 no. I think it's a slip of his uh, tongue and other things. So, he himself uh, uh, mentioned about it. You know, these things you should not, uh, just, you know, some of time, sometimes politicians become very, you know, over enthusiastic. And he mentioned about Rahul Gandhi. And Rajiv Gandhi got confused between the two. You know, so don't take these things away. Okay. Srivatsan Srinivasan wants to know, um, in Modiji 3.0, will delimitation happen and will it impact regional parties' politics? One uh, has to wait and see whether uh, second uh, state reorganization commission is going to be constituted and how much uh, it will be taken forward in terms of, uh, you know, Changing delimitation and other thing of various constituency is done so that this parochial linguistic uh, type of situation is not continuing. It should be based on economic clusters as well as uh, it should be based on uh, river basins. Okay, that's a separate thing. We will deal with it in another context. Thank you, Jairaman, for your donation. Very good. Jairaman wants to know, sir, talking about North-South, will the North Indian non-Hindu dare to eat non-veg in temples done in Brihadiswar temple? Ayers River temple, there will be an end to these atrocious demonic acts. Oh, these are, you know, uh, I would rather not too much worry about it. These are aberrations, you know. These are, I don't think we should uh, take this very seriously. It's not on a large scale or anything. Let's you, not... You, Viewers also think about this. When I was in Brihadeshwara temple, it was on the 31st of December, last day of the year. Hot, very hot. 11.30 in the morning, I could barely, the sand was hot. I could barely walk on my, you know, bare soles. And there were a lot of Muslim women who had come to pray. We are not understanding one thing. Many, many people got converted, but they still, you know, use... You, hang on to their old beliefs and because they don't want to be spotted they even have the burqa but you can see them wearing burqa and they come to pray so why, why do you want to turn them off they are also hindus some generations ago so there are lots of little little things but eating non-veg at a uh, religious place is not something that it's uh, dharmic in fact even meat eaters will not have uh, you know, uh, for the Muhurtam day, that Muhurtam lunch, whatever it is, usually it is not uh, having any meat. Sometimes people will have meat at reception, but usually on Muhurtam day, it is no meat. Likewise, on Puja days, people don't eat meat. This is something that's been there for a long time. Okay. Don't ask me. I mean, I have to go back and look at what is the re reason for that. But basically, it is something that Professor R.V. had to told about in, in an episode. We become what we eat. You want sattvic, tamasic or rajasic food. Because the food you eat will make you the way that food you are eating. Next one. Professor is getting bored, so I won't talk too much. No, 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 no. Not at all. <laughs> JBJP, thank you so much. Why DMK is like a terrorist organization disguised as a party? <laughs> no, this is a very, this is very interesting question. But... Uh, some other time we will discuss about this from 1920. What is the you know nature of the organization, how it developed, how it evolved, and other things. Right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Next one, please. Thank you, Venkatram Vishnu Bhatla. 
Siddharth Shekhar, thank you so much. I am from Gujarat. I respect South Indians, but does the average South Indian think that North Indians are boorish and culturally inferior? No, no, no. Nothing. Nothing like this. Average South Indian doesn't think like that. This is the political leaders who are instigating the people. That's all. See, average Indian in this country is extraordinarily polite, tolerant and helpful. Let's be very clear. There is nothing called South Indian, North Indian, Bengali, non-Bengali, nothing. Average fellow. It's, India is one country where you can go to a lot of villages and get free food. There. This is something which uh, you will not yes. believe. In. Yes, yes. Uh, and, and if you happen to be at Udupi at lunchtime, you want to know how many courses you will be served for lunch? Free? 20 plus. 20 plus. Have you eaten at Udupi much, sir? Krishna, yeah, yeah. 20 plus dishes. Oh my God, I just couldn't eat at the end. There were so <laughs> many things coming. <laughs> it's all okay, great. Next. Great thing thank more. Thank you so much. I think that's all there is we have for today. And thank you once again, Professor Arvi. May your wisdom keep flowing and may you keep writing more books, sir. And uh, we will be all be beneficiaries of that wisdom. And viewers, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And please, next time Professor Arvi comes online, we are going to standardize the time. And you will, without thinking, like first and then listen. Thank you once again, sir. Namaskar. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Namaste. Namaskar.